earlier we have seen some of the microwave devices we have covered the spectrum analyzer network analyzer we have covered the vhf one meter now you are having the power meter so power meter means sir uh, here we are going for calculating the power so whatever the power is power means you are having the wave guide the wave guide the signal is propagating from one side to another so uh, in case of your microwave frequency we consider the power we are not going for current and voltages so that power you are having so that power uh, so in case of the power meter you are having the power sensor so whatever the input power will be that input power will be converted into heat energy it will be converted into equivalent heat energy because of your power sensor that are present in your power meter now as here you are having the equivalent heat energy you will have a change in temperature so as you are having a change in temperature so change in temperature will produce current it will produce a output current and it produces the output current at low frequency earlier if you are seeing this input power input power here this is your at microwave frequency this is at your microwave frequency but whenever you are getting this output current this out you will get the output current and it will be at low frequency and as you are knowing the current from that you can calculate the power okay so this is the basic principle behind your power meter now let us see that what are the different types of power sensors that we are having the types of your power sensor the different types of your power sensor are softly weighted diode sensor thermocouple sensor bolometer sensor these are some of the sensor say suppose if you are going for a softly weighted diode sensor you are having a two resistances with diode in their capacitor in their equal value the rf input you are getting this rf output in. so what are you having the rf output it is it depends upon your rf input it is proportional to your rf input and here as you are having the diode is there whatever the resistance that you are having because of this diode that will not affect the parameter of your power here okay so internal resistance of diode doesn't matter much and if we are seeing your softly diode sensor it is limited to when you are having a power less than 10 milliwatt so if the power is less than 10 milliwatt then we can go for this type of sensor or in other words in other words this type of sensor will be applicable up to your 10 milliwatt power okay so when we are having the input power uh, 10 or less than 10 you can go for this okay another element you are having this is your thermocouple sensor so if you are going for your thermocouple sensor here you are having uh, coupling capacitor here you are going for bypass capacitor here coupling capacitor what it will do it will block the dc component it will block the dc component and it will allow only the ac component to pass through it you are having two thin two resistors and this is your uh, thermocouple that is n type silicon material is there so here what we are doing we are heating it at two different temperatures we are heating it at two different temperatures so as we are heating it uh, at two different temperatures here emf will be induced here emf will be induced emf will be induced because of uh, uh, difference between these two temperatures let us assume that this is at higher temperature as compared to this one so because otherwise we are putting it this is the hot this is cold same arrangement we are doing it here so in parallel we are connecting one more thermocouple here also we are heating it at two different temperatures so as we are heating it at two different temperatures here also you will have the 
EMF induced delay. And as these two arrangements are in parallel, it will be added up. And as these are added up, you can get the output across your bypass capacitor. So here we can connect to our DC voltmeter and from there we can get the voltage reading. And as we are getting the voltage reading, from that we can calculate the power. Okay. Now, in case of your this uh, thermocouple sensor, here, if we are knowing your Thank you. 